Sure, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today, um, I'm going to re going to, going to be re reading a few sauces for you guys. Um, one sauce, the first sauce I'm going to be, 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 be showing you guys is Searing Stinger from Rock and Heat. I love that little bee wasp. I think it's a bee. I can tell. But it's cool. And this is a collab between Uncle Bull Cow and um, Rock and Heat. Um, I think this, the story goes that I read or heard, was was Uncle Bokel tried the Sticky Stinger, I guess, and he got hold of Rock and Heat and said, hey, can you make, make a hotter version? Uncle Bokel sent him powders and pods, and thus, this is born. It's, a limit, it's like, it's like a, a limited edition thing. It sold out and really fast. I, I got lucky and got two bottles. I got a spare bottle in the fridge because I want extra. Yeah. Um, Rock and Heat, do, 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 information about the thing. Um... Rock and Heat is owned by an individual named Colton Baquet. I hope I got that right. Sorry if I didn't. Um, from Lolo, Montana. And this is a side gig, I guess, which I think is cool. I love when, like, um, you find producers, they're, like, just regular guys who just make sauce on the side. I think it's cool. Um, the ingredients for the sauce are duh, 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 distilled vinegar, honey, big mustard mama, 18%. Uh, jalapeno onion, big mustard and mamba powder, 1.5%, garlic, olive oil, salt, cumin. Shake well refrigerate for freshness or something like that. Um, what that tells me, they just tell me this, this can be a very pepper forward sauce. So, and I've had a few big, big mustard mamas in my, in my, in my day and I like them. So, yeah, first let's, um, Texture thing here. It's a fairly chunky sauce. I see stuff kind of floating in it. I can see it. It's about a medium texture sauce. And obviously, I have been to the bottle already. It's, I can't resist. It's hard. Ooh, I popped. It smells like. It's, I, I definitely smell. I definitely smell the peppers. Vinegar. Smell that, I smell that sweetness from the honey. Kind of earthy. Mm. Oh, smells good. Let's give this a try. And right there. Very pretty sauce. Got a, got a sheen to it. There's chunks of stuff. Stuff in it. Guys, cheers. Okay. Why do I get like an earthy <clears throat> kick to it? First thing I get is a kick, a tiny one. Kind of sweet, earthy. It's diff it has um verde vibes. Verde vibes. Has a nice chew to it. Yeah, that's good sauce. Mm. That's good. I think um I wish I wish Rock and Heat would make this like a permanent sauce. This is I think this is I think this is to be really good, really good as a permanent thing. I'd buy I'd buy it all the time. I love this stuff. Um, <clears throat> as far as heat, I'd give this um, I get a bit of a throat burn, tiny tongue burn, like the back of the tongue, you know, that kind of burn. Heat, give it a three. Yeah. Flavor, I give it a solid eight. That, that's a really good sauce. I definitely got to pick this up. But we're going to try some, uh, some food too. I'll give me some um, White Castles. I'm going to try some burgers that taste. Yeah. We got there. Hmm. 
Okay. I think it's really well, really well on a, um, an hamburger. I'm trying to know what we're about here. Because you got two, two, two results, three results, three of you. And I want to do all of them before. This feels too long. Hmm. Okay. Now, what would, I, what would I use on beyond that? What would I use, I use this on beyond um, that burger? I'd use it on fish. Shrimp. I think really good on pork. Shred it like a nice shred chicken sandwich. And a meatloaf. Maybe some lamb. I'd put this in um if you're making like if you're making like a um if you make salsa, I'd put a bit, a bit of this in there. I think that it kind of boosts sort of flares up a little bit. I mix this with, this with honey and dip like a sushi in it. It'd be good for that, I think. Yeah. That's good sauce. So um right neat. Dude, well done. That's very good. Next sauce is an opened. I've been saving this bad boy. It is um Peach Reaper. Or sorry, yeah, yeah. Peach Reaper from Uncle Bull Cow. Uncle Bull Cow is a um sauce maker from North Carolina. I've had a lot of sauces and all all his, all his sauces are just amazing. They're really good. Um Let's get my greetings list out here for you guys. I got there somewhere. <clears throat> the greens for this sauce are yellow reaper, organic peaches, organic cane sugar, non-GMO, excuse me, is that them gum? White cranberry, and lime juice. So really effective, I like that. But that's what they want about Uncle Bull Cow. Is all his <laughs> all his sauces are um, all natural or organic, which I appreciate. I like that very much. And, and honestly, his sauces, I think it's, um, I'll explain it. His sauces, his, his sauces have a certain, like, um, flair to him, which I appreciate. You get, like, if you give me Uncle Boca hot sauce, I can tie it to Uncle Boca hot sauce. Boca hot sauce because it have a certain, has a certain flavor to it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, it's a thinnish sauce. It's a really pretty color, yeah. I love, I love, I love, I love those vibe, vibe, nice vibrant colors it has in it. See chunks of stuff floating in it. I assume that's peach skins and stuff. Did it pop? I didn't pop. Ooh, I smell peach. Right away, I smell peaches. I smell the peach. I can smell a bit of the reaper. <laughs> Give me. Um, this might be a more kind of, kind of a dessert sauce, maybe too. Cause, cause I definitely smell the peaches and the reapers. Mm. Mm. That's a that's a very unique that's a very unique smelling sauce. I like not unique as in bad, but unique as in good. Mm. Is there what am I, what am I smelling? The cranberry, it could, it, could, it, could be the, it could be the cranberry smelling, maybe. There's a, there's a flavor, there's a smell in there. In any case, we're going to give this a go. Dab of that. I dab with you. She has a sauce. It's a real pretty... It's a really vibrant yellow, which I appreciate. Guys, cheers. Mm. That's good. That's good because it's a very, I get a lot of the Reaper flavor, but not a lot of that Reaper I guess floral or bareness, however you want to put it, you know. So I taste the reaper, but, but I get the good the fix. I get the good sauce reaper, but not but the bad stuff. Yeah, it has a nice smooth flavor to it. Isn't bitter. I get a bit of the peach. I would um use it for 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 for, for desert, desert all, all, all day, man. Um. Hmm. 
So, if you want one more shot, just to do it. Mm, that's damn good. This stuff is borderline chug. Well, I love this stuff. Um, heat rating. I'm not getting a lot of burn off it, actually. Um, I give it a solid, solid three or four burn. Um, flavor, I give it a nine. Because it has a, that, that nice balance of sweet and heat, which I thoroughly appreciate. Um, what I use, okay, um, what I, what I use this on? Um, I would use this on fish. Oh, all day. This would be great. This would be great on, on like a nice, like, piece of like white fish I use on um chicken I did I did my nuggets or fries in it I'd put I'd put um a bit, of, a bit of this and um on like a pot roast kind of like this case it's kind of based it on the or like take as you're cooking it you know go with the brush go with with that, with that. I would use it in tuna salad be good in that thing because I think like the the, the fruitiness of this sauce would would it would just like Add a depth of flavor to your food that would just like bring it from a nine to an eleven. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's really good. Now we're gonna try it on uh, some sliders. Yes, tie roll. There. There. Ooh, I should call back that. It goes very well with the, with the, with the pickle on the, on the burger. One more. If you guys get, 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 get the chance, um, get, get, get the chance, go to, um, thankfulworkyoutube.com or I'll message Uncle Bocal. I'll put a link down below for that. Pick up some of the sauce that's really good, as well as this one, Rock and Heat. I'll put a link below to his uh, Facebook. Pick up some sauces or go to thankfulworkyoutube.com. They also sell these sauces too. Um, now the last sauce. Okay, let's make a special one. This is a this is a hot sauce. It's called Face Off. Be about cool bull cow. It's a it's a challenge sauce. Um, limited edition, I believe. Um, but I got lucky to get hold of it fairly, fairly, fairly early. So, yeah. Um, this sauce has thirteen million. Um, I think it was thirteen million. Global heat unit capsaicin in it, which means it kind of scares me a little bit. But I've been, I've been trying to, I've been, I've been putting in things here and there. Here's the sauce. It's called Face Off Challenge Sauce. Um, the ingredients are <clears throat> fermented chilies, organic apple cider vinegar, black garlic, organic onion, organic uh, garlic. Did I say garlic already? <laughs> um, sea salt and 13 million Scoville heat unit capsaicin. Which means this is not to be trifled with. It's gonna be hot, um, hopefully. But I'm on, I'm only going to do like a little dab of it today because I got plans for this sauce. I got a I got a challenge in the works. I just need girl. I need I just need girl to do, doing it. Time, you know. I gotta find the time to do it. You know. And this the texture. Ooh, you see, you see, got the cat there. There's no cat hair. There's no cat hair on, on, in, in this sauce. That was me. Um, see ch chunks of seeds in there. Bits of skins. Yeah. It's, it's like a medium. Well, medium to thin, maybe. Something like that. I can smell the black garlic. I get right, right away. I get black garlic. Right, 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 like right away. But the funny thing is. You can you can 
kind of barely smell that 13 million um cap state cap, cap state the time you do with like 13 million um with like with like with like like with like pure forms of capsaicin they give a certain flip certain smell to it it's not a bad smell but it's it's there you know it, it's just there you know it smells amazing though we're gonna give this a try I'm only doing a little bit of this because I'm brave, not stupid. That's right, guys. I'm being, I'm being a baby today. <clears throat> I'll get to it. It's a burner wow. Um, so right away, mm, I think, so my phone, I'm sorry, uh, I just I shut it off, right away, I, right away I smell black garlic, I mean, this, this, right away, I get a tiny hit of vinegar, I can taste the fermented flavor, which I love about Uncle Bookhouse sauces. He, I think most of his sauces are fermented, and they're all good. I love fermented sauces. Um, fermented sauces, they got a certain funk to them, but it's a good funk, you know. It's like it's 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 a thing. It's a thing that you got to learn to love, you know. I learned to love it slowly. Um, yeah, it's garlicky, garlicky, spicy, peppery. It's a good sauce. Um, let's try some on a burger. Do 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 do. do. Go put this on. Pour your pour slow. Right there. I'm mean, very careful with this stuff because it's it's, it's it's a hot boy. That's also, that's also so good. Do you want one more dip of it? I'll stop because I know this is 13 million. That's kind of 13 million. Th for, for, for me, 13 million gives them the, gives them the air, air cap cramps, which I, which I can do today. Hmm. Okay. Let's go. So, stuff for Uncle Bull Cow face off on heat. I'm get, kind of getting an all over mouth heat. Bit of the tongue, bit of the throat, because it's kind of like all over the place. But it's not like an intense burn. It's a solid, um, I guess I'll give this a, as far as heat, I'll give it a five. Um, heat five flavor. Has plenty of black garlic flavor to it. Everything, everything works well in the sauce. I'd give the flavor flavor. I give it a solid, a solid seven point five. We'll do that. Um, yeah, Uncle Bucko, dude, that's an amazing sauce. I love this. I'm sorry it took so long to 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 review it. I'm being busy and we're all up gets in the way. You know how it is, man. Um. Um, before I let you guys go, um, I'll oh, Christopher, you guys, I want to do a challenge with this sauce. This 30, this 30, this 30 million, 30 million hot, I mean, 13 million, you know, hot, you know, hot sauce. Um, here's it, here's the deal, guys. I want to do a challenge with that. Um, I need suggestions. I consider doing a wing challenge, which everybody does. I could do it, but if you guys want to do that, I can do that. I could do like a, um, a ramen challenge with it. I could do like a loaded fries thing with it. Um, I could do all kinds of stuff with it. Like this thing, what you guys would do would do with it, and it's kind of put down below. Um, Cause I really want to do something with that. Cause that, that's like a good sauce. I think it'd be a really, be, be, be really, really fun challenge. Um, so, with that being said, 
I love you guys. Be good. Uh, I hope you, I hope you guys have a, have a glorious day. And be good.